guys. Hey guys. This is a very special weekend. It is MegaCon weekend and this is our Thursday MegaCon recap. Right off the bat, I had an absolute blast today. Yeah, me too. There was a lot of people there. Yeah. For anybody who's done a con that opens on a Thursday, it's typically like deserted. There's nobody there attending. Half the vendors aren't there. Um, celebrities like, no aren't celebrities there. are there. Yeah. Um, it, it's basically you go, you get your badge, you kind of get the layout so you know where everything is, and then you leave. We were there for hours because there was tons of people there. Almost all of the vendors and artists were there. There was only a couple of booths that were not set up right. for today. Um, and there was even a couple of the uh, guests were there. I think there was three or four guests that were there. Like uh, Jeremy Bullock, who plays Boba Fett, who played Boba Fett rather, mm -hmm. he he showed up and he's you know pretty big name guest. That you know typically big name guests don't show up yeah. on a, the, a Thursday of a four day con. And I guess uh, Tom Payne, who plays Jesus in The Walking Dead, I guess he showed up later in the day. At least that's according to Instagram. I'm seeing a lot of pictures of him. Um, so I guess he showed up at some point. So there's some like major celebrities who showed up on Thursday, which basically never happens. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Now, we both cosplayed as Negan today. Yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. We had a blast cosplaying as Negan. The, the costumes went over really, really well. Tons of people asking for pictures. It does seem like the convention is like two or three times the size it used to be because Fan Expo bought it, and so the floor space was enormous. Yeah, like the vendors, there was tons of vendors that we haven't seen, and yeah. like we go to a lot of conventions, so a lot of the times it's the same vendors over and over and over again, but there was a lot more vendors, there was a lot more Artist Alley, um, there was just a lot more stuff. It was huge. A lot more comic books. I mean, yes. Megacon, in previous years, here recently, it's been a very anime-centric con. This time, at least yesterday, it seemed very kind of spread out, like lots of different fandoms and tons of comic book vendors, which is awesome. That's what I'm planning on doing tomorrow, is looking at the comic books. Because today, I was looking at toys. <laughs> And they also have like this whole completely separate area for ticketing. Mm -hmm. Normally when you go to a convention, you've got like the ticketing somewhere off to the side of the main entrance and things get clustered and you know, you trying to get into the con, you're having to kind of cut through the line to get their tickets and it, it's just, it's normally a big royal cluster. But this one has like a whole concourse, like part of, like almost a whole convention floor set up for nothing but ticketing. They've got multiple stations set up so that people who haven't pre-bought their tickets can fill this thing out and then they go up and they get their tickets. They've got plenty of lines for everybody. Everything's pretty well marked. Uh, you know, signage was awesome. So yeah, they did a great job with ticketing. It's probably the best I've seen. Now, it wasn't that busy today. There was a lot of people, but it wasn't that busy. So we'll see. Saturday will be the real test to yeah. see if that ticketing system works. Saturday is going to be a madhouse. Organization overall was really good. There was a lot of security there. Yeah, tons of security. Uh, now, maybe it just seemed like there was a lot because it wasn't full. Like, maybe on Saturday it won't seem like there was that much. Um, but I actually like that. I think if you have ample security, you run less risk for the um, sexual harassment that always comes with cosplay because you know you have the sexy cosplays and you have the people who just don't know how to behave. Yeah. P people who just like to grab some ass and that seems like w with the bulked up security presence that might not be such a big of a problem for this con this yeah. year so that'd be awesome. Yeah. The one thing I will say about security this year is they were really cracking down on props. Like they like spent a good amount of time checking out our bats, our Lucille's, and yeah, I mean we had you know plastic children's bats. Um, they come with a little plastic baseball and a little pla you know as a plastic bat, and they spent a good amount of time yeah. you know tapping it, weighing it, making sure well, you know what couldn't do some actual damage if we somebody got hit by it or something, which is. Of, it's, of course, it's the right thing to do, but the feedback we got some, from some other attendees is they might be cracking down on props a little too much. Yeah, there was a lot of empty holsters mm -hmm. throughout the convention. Um, now I don't know exactly how stringent their 
policy is when it comes to weapons because there were weapons in there I did mm -hmm. see some prop weapons yeah. um, so I don't know what made some weapons go through and what made others now, not every prop weapon prop firearm we saw did have an orange tip yeah. so that could be like the make or break thing for a prop firearm uh, one person we talked to today um, it, it seemed like from his description I'm just trying going by what he said it seemed like he had a, an actual firearm that he had basically deactivated to where it was no longer operational and wouldn't ever function again, but they wouldn't let that in, obviously, because yeah. it feels, looks like a real firearm. Yeah, and I think there's even some uh, airsoft guns that are made out of metal to look more real. Those weren't allowed in either. And of course, real baseball bats weren't yes. allowed in. <laughs> and that was like the main thing when, when, when we went through, they were like, okay, these aren't real. Because Anna painted them up and weathered them and everything, and they look like legit baseball bats. Yeah. So people all day, is that a real bat? Is that a real bat? Is that a real bat? And no, they're not. It just looks really good because she did that good a job on it. Yeah, we spent probably about five minutes at Weapons Check yeah, with probably. bats, yeah. plastic bats wrapped in barbed wire garland. <laughs> it was um, like Halloween decoration yeah. barbed wire. It's and big, we yeah. probably got stopped about four times after Weapons Check mm -hmm. for people wanting to see the bats to make sure that they weren't yeah. real. And stopped four times by security. Yeah, by security. That doesn't even account for you yeah, know, basically yeah, a, people, a, a attendees yeah. going, is that a real bat? Let me see it. Like being like excited about yeah, the, the yeah. authenticity of the costume. Yeah, almost everybody who wanted our picture wanted to see Lucille. Yeah. Okay, so what was our haul for this Thursday? Well, first of all, our friend Matt had a birthday recently, so we got his birthday present. We got him a signature from Jeremy Bullock, AKA Boba Fett. And I scored a Star Wars Black Series Kanan, and Ahsoka. So the, the, this was like my two things that I wanted to find today, and I did. So I was really excited. I, we saw them like when we first got to the con. Yeah, almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I don't want to get them yet because I don't want to carry them around all day, and I don't feel like walking out to the car in this jacket because it's super hot. <laughs> so I was like, we'll get them before we leave. And then we were walking around like, crap, where was that booth? Because <laughs> it was the only booth I saw that had an Ahsoka. Yeah. And so I, we, well, we walked around for probably another 45 minutes trying to find it. And then Anna's feet started yeah. to hurt. So I was like, well, let's find you a bench to sit down on, then I'll go back in. And I walked around for a, a little while longer. And yeah, the booth was totally not where we <laughs> thought it was. So I just, never is. <laughs> I ended up just having to walk up and down the aisles and go, that's the guy. And I found it. And so yeah, I, I scored my Black Series Ahsoka and Kanan. So that's really awesome. That was my mission for today, was to find those toys. My mission for tomorrow is to check out some comics and maybe score some more autographs. Yes. I'm hoping to get all the voice actors done tomorrow. You've got some fairy tale. Yeah, voice there's actors? four fairy tale uh, voice actors are going to be there, and um, uh, Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. Yeah, um, Edward Vic. I can't say his last name, so I'm not going to butcher it. Edward Vic. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have no idea what other celebrities are going to be there tomorrow. I got to look at the website and see, but I would like to get as much done before Saturday as I can uh, because yes. Saturday it's going to be a zoo. Yeah. All right, and that's it for our Megacon Thursday recap. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more all kinds of geeky, awesome stuff. Reviews, unboxings, com or Comic-Con vlogs, uh, uh, recaps, everything under the sun. If it's geeky, we do it. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.